the one, the only, Ben Cio. Good morning and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube, Ian Mitzion. Today we learn a Mitzvah Sukkah, Perak Aleph, Pinshayas Hey and Vav. In Mishnah Hey, we come across something which really was, I didn't really explain fully in the previous Mishnahs, which is a Psula Tasa of Lomen also. You have to make the Sukkah. The shame cell, at least for shade. And if you originally made it for something else to dry, dry out, or let's say in the previous Bishnayas, you basically t- took vines and used it as chav while it was attached, and then you cut the vines afterwards, so you have to move it around a little bit because when you made the schach, it was bipsul. You can't use mechobel karka. Mechobel karka, I explained yesterday, is something which is diras kva, which is a problem according to the Rabbana. So here also, this Mishnah, Mishnah Hay, talks about using bundles, bundles of pieces of wood. Now, generally, they're wet when you buy a bundle of wood, and you have to put them in your backyard to dry. And if you put them on top of your sukkah, even in technically going to base hill, who says that you can put it, you know, four months before sukkah, you don't have to do it with the shame mitzvah sukkah, right? Sukkah Yishan is kshayra, according to base hill, and like, nonetheless, you have to do with the shame cell, the Gemara said. It has to be done in general for the purpose of cell. It's not called schach, that's not called Sichoch, if it's not meant to protect you from the sun, it should provide shade. If you just do it to dry out the wood, that's not nothing to do with sukkah, and that's for sure puzzle. So when I do the, when I take these uh, bundles, right, if I took them liyavish, right, I put them on top of my sukkah, and I eventually sit in the sukkah on sukkah, and I put them there originally to dry out, so that's not kosher, because it's not the same cell. I mean, the rice that's not kosher. And even the Rabbanan, if I put it, the Gemara explains, I put it there, L'Shem Schach, as a bundle, because a Gzeira, you might come next time to put a Le'yavish, therefore that's also possible in the Rabbanan. You have to do a Maisa, and the Gemara, the Mishnah says, if you untie the bundle before Sukkot, that's okay, that's called a Maisa. It's considered, you did not see a L'Shem Sel, or L'Shem Sukkah. Um, <clears throat> but the original problem here is Tassel Lomen Aswe, the problem Del Raisa. If you put any schach just to dry out on top of your sukkah, that's not kosher schach. Why not? Because the Blessed says, Shivas Yom Sukkah Tassel Lacha. You have to make, you have to do an Asiel the same sukkah or the same cell. Why is Aswe possible? Lomen Aswe. Why is that a problem by sukkah? So I'm trying to explain the reason and the rationale. We've been doing that in Yud Ben So let's continue along the same thread, the same thought, is that. <clears throat> The Rabbanan mandate that sukkah has to be teras ara. It has to be something it's like going camping. That's the point of sukkahs. This is to go camping. And if you use, let's say you would make um, a hut for yourself in the forest. So if you would make it with branches or bundles that were made to dry out, they were wet and made to dry out. That's the opposite we were talking about yesterday. Yesterday we were talking about it's too much of the Rasa Kaba. This is too much tassel. And also, if it's made for drying out, that's something which is dispensable, which you're not even, right, you could easily just throw off. Now it's dry, I'll take it off, right? I just meant it for it to dry over there. That's too much of a dirasara. So like I mentioned yesterday, even though they're abundant mandate, so it has to be dirasara, it has to be an arai that is, that has durability, that has kva. It's an arai mitoras kva. It's temporary, but it has to be strong enough to last for seven days. You have to have, right, and if, if you just do the dry there, first of all, you might take it off. And second of all, it looks flimsy. It looks like, it doesn't look like a permanent enough structure that you want to stay in and camp in for seven days. So you could have two RI. This is two RI. There's not even RI enough. It's not even temporary. It's fleeting. A fleeting sukkah is not even the requisite RI that you need according to the Rabbana. That's why Tassav and Asai is puzzled by sukkah. I hope you enjoyed today's share. See you in the next one.